Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. As per the latest update, the Astra Microwave has completed the fabrication of Uttam MK2 AAC radar and has delivered its first unit to LRDE. The Uttam AAC MK2 is going to be an upscaled indigenous gallium arsenide Yes, it's not gallium nitride but gallium arsenide based Uttam AAC radar which will be featured in Tejas MK2. According to Dr. V. Madhusudan Rao, the project director of Tejas MK2 program, the Uttam radar of Tejas MK2 will carry around 992 TR modules capable of detecting targets as small as 0.001 meter square radar cross section area. The Uttam AC MK2 radar will be integrated with the limited series LCA Tejas MK1A fighter which will be used as a test bed for Tejas MK2 program. Last year in December it was reported that Indian Air Force is planning to demonstrate the indigenously developed Uttam AAC MK1 radar. As per the project director of LID, the radar has already been tested on two Tejas fighters as well as Hawker Sedley 800 executive jet for over 250 hours. The National Flight Testing Center, which is manned by Indian Air Force, has already green lighted the radar after successful performance tests. The LRD has signed a memorandum of understanding with Hindustan Aeronautics Limited for being the lead integrator of the radar on Tejas MK-1A with four identified vendors including BEL being the supplier of key subsystems. The indigenously developed Uttam AC radar will be integrated with all Indian fighter jets that includes Su-30 MKIs which is the backbone of Air Force, MiG-29K of Navy, Tejas MK-1A. Earlier, plan was to integrate Uttam AC MK-1A radar with 21st Tejas MK-1A onwards but as per the latest reports, it's decided to integrate from 17th Tejas MK-1A onwards. The first 16th Tejas MK-1A will also feature an AAC radar but it will not be Uttam, instead it will be Israel's ELM-2052 AAC radars. The Uttam radar to feature in this MK-1A will have close to 780 TR modules. Now talking about Uttam AAC MK-1A radar, it is a full solid state gallium arsenide based active electronically scanned array radar. It is a liquid cooled AAC radar where Increasing or decreasing the number of TR modules is quite easy depending on fighter jets no scone. Uttam AC radar has a total of 18 modes in air to air, air to ground and air to sea rules. The radar has a range well over 120 km and is key to the integration of various indigenously developed missiles such as Astra and other guided ammunition over long distances. The AAC radar has 95% indigenous component with only one imported subsystem. It has capacity to track 100 targets in the sky at a range in excess of 100 km and engage 4 of them simultaneously. We have seen Uttam AAC radar tracking Tejas at 140 km range which is quite significant as Tejas is a very small fighter with RCS of just 0.5 meter square. An MOU has also been signed between HL and DRDO for transfer of technology and production of Uttam AC radar. HL will be the lead system integrator for Uttam radars. This was today's update. Please let us know what is your views about these in comment section. Feel free to post your comments and suggestions about any topic related to defense sector on which you want to hear from us. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind friends. Please like and subscribe our video if you have not done already. We will be soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in defense sector.